Hey folks, Rob here, and uh, our friends over at Fiacci have sent us out a new product they've come out with. This is the G35 laser. Uh, this is a green laser. Uh, it uh, comes nicely packaged. I haven't opened it yet, uh, but it does come nicely packaged. Uh, inside here you have your user, user manual uh, to go over, uh, you know, the use. Probably some mounting instructions. Uh, inside the box there. Let me refocus you here. This dang old camera setup just don't want to cooperate anymore. Uh, the GL35 green laser. Inside the box, there's what you get. You get a Picatinny mount and the hardware. Yeah, it looks like a nice unit. Uh, the on and off is on the tail cap, looks like. Or, or you can use the pressure switch. It looks like a nice pressure switch. It looks like it's be, be able to be mounted. And you have click adjustable turrets. Anyway, let's, let's look at the unit itself. Okay, inside the box you get, there's your Picatinny rail mount. Why did we go dark all of a sudden? Ah, there we go. I took the white paper away. All right. Inside there, you get your Picatinny rail mount. Looks like that can be mounted either side, left or right. Yeah, it's nice, nice anodized aluminum. Uh, looks to be nicely made. One single tightening there. Uh, got torque screws. Good looking unit. Let's lay that aside. Let's see, here's the laser itself. This thing is heavy. This is actually, wow, that is, that is well made. Let's see inside here. Let's take our tail cap off. And there we have a little piece of paper, so that's, and it comes with a, let's see what size that is. Uh, 20, 2200 milliamp, 3.7 volts. Doesn't say what size it is, but I think that's a. Uh, did you notice which way I took it out? Was it that way? No, I think it was this way. No, let's see. That's how forgetful I am. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Green laser to me is so much more visible. So much more visible. And you got click adjustments, so. Oh, and they are. Tactile, yeah, you can't hear them. Well, yeah, you can. I can hear them. You might not, but I can hear them. So that's 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 nice. That is a nice heavy unit. Uh, inside the package, you get your oh, here's your tail cap, and comes with a fairly long piece of wire. You have some screws here. Oh, that's to mount it to a uh, the rail. Actually, it looks like it just slides on, and then you would tighten these down. Yeah, to lock it in. I don't know what the screws are for. Uh, we'll figure that out. What the? And then you have a strap and your. USB-C and your charging so you have your charging block you it is USB-C you have your strap here to strap down your cabling and the laser itself we'll set the rest of this aside guys this is a a nicely made laser let me get you a, a good look at it I'm sorry, I have to stop and focus the camera. And well made. I have never seen a laser with click adjustable. And here's your on and off. And that is a nice green dot. We're going to definitely mount this on something. And you could use it as a handheld. I mean, if you was... Uh, I recently gave uh, one of my co-workers the... The... 
the Riflin's uh, scope that had the onboard laser and all that stuff with it uh, because he just wanted the laser off of it to use as a pointer. Uh, and he, he, came, he, he actually had a good use for it. He said when he, when he took his son squirrel hunting or something, he could use it to point out the uh, squirrels in the tree. And, and that's, that's actually a good, because uh, he's using it as a handout. So he could point out targets to his son, you know, if he's seen a, a squirrel or something. So, yeah, I was glad that somebody got to use it. Uh, the laser, uh, I don't think was accurate enough to mount on anything and use it as, but to use it as a pointer, heck, that'd be perfect. This does have an O-ring. Has an O-ring seal. Let's mount our tail cap on it here and see what it does. So, here's your pressure switch and that one's on and off and that's momentary so the bigger pad is a momentary well that's that's pretty neat so off and on and momentary and that will slide on your pick rail and that's just pretty that's nice that is a pretty nice little unit so it slides over a section of rail I didn't bring a gun out and then these just lock it down these screws that's pretty simple design but sturdy there's no flex or give wherever you mount that that's where it's going to be and then you have your offset rail mount here that it will slide into we're going to mount this up on some what would y'all like to see it put on Let me know. The little bastard or the the big bastard or Yeah, so there's what it looked like. Mounted on your That is pretty uh, awesome guys. Right and left, up and down. That is pretty neat. Anyway guys, this is a look at the Fiacci f35 or gl35 i'm sorry gl green laser 35 laser sight i think these are about 60 bucks on amazon i will leave a link to it in the description below but this is this is the nicest laser we're going to try this we're going to mount this on something and we're going to try it out because this is a this is a very nice unit so anyway guys until the next unit next video not next unit We'll see you guys later. I appreciate each and every one of you watching.